Sometimes a scientific researcher needs to verify the authenticity of a painting kept in storage for years in the vaults of a museum, or measure the level of deterioration of the golden object they are studying. To do so, they may need, for example, a particle accelerator. However, until a few years ago, cultural heritage researchers had to wade through endless red tape to obtain such a thing, and on some occasions it was impossible to gain access to some facilities. To facilitate these processes, the Iperion project, made up of 24 members from 12 countries, 11 of them European plus the US, has been set up. In addition to the SEEK, Spain's contribution comes from the Prado Museum and collaboration from Spain's Institute of Cultural Heritage. The main advantage for our researcher of this project is that they can access the best infrastructures in Europe, can access different techniques in different countries, uh, in the three different platforms. Just as astrophysicists and physicists rely on telescopes and particle accelerators, which are often shared by several countries to carry out their experiments, researchers into cultural heritage will now have a network of facilities and equipment located across Europe available to them for their research projects into preservation and restoration. Iperion is certainly very important uh, as a researcher. It gives you the opportunity to access knowledge, information, data and the opportunity to discuss with scientists, which otherwise would be time-consuming, budget-consuming and probably not as um, comprehensive as the platform of Iperium gives. Europe's cultural heritage is one of the most important in the world by volume, significance and variety. But many of Europe's finest pieces are so delicate, unique and irreplaceable that they cannot be moved. To allow them to be studied, Iperion integrates investigation centres, universities and museum laboratories which offer a substantial network of data as well as cutting-edge scientific instruments. Iperion is structured in three platforms, FixLab, ArtsLab and MoLab. FixLab provides access to uh, large infrastructures such as synchrotron or uh, neutral sources uh, to lines or to techniques especially dedicated to cultural heritage research. Arts Lab provides access to scientific archives uh, in the main, uh, some of the main European museums and conservation institutions and research institutions. And MOLAB provides access to mobile laboratories that can travel and in that way can do the investigation, can do the analysis in situ in the museums, on the monuments. Iperion is the result of experience and knowledge gathered over the years. It exists thanks to other projects that came before. The first one is LabStack, that was only a network project. Then there was UARTEC, Charisma and now Iperion. So Iperion exists thanks to the knowledge and experience we as a consortium got through the other project. I would have loved to have the same advantage when I first started a year ago my, my career in conservation. Uh, because if you think only to 20, 25 years ago, there were very few opportunities to be trained, to be educated, or to be allowed to get into uh, museum laboratories and so on, which is, now, which is not the case now. What is sought after Epirion is the creation of a robust structure and this was the main aim of Erish. Approved in March 2016, this proposal allows investigators to take the first steps towards forming a permanent infrastructure for the study and protection of cultural heritage.